In the last video, we created our very first chatbot using Langchain. At the moment, we are able to have a general conversation with the bot and we are receiving generic responses as well. But what if we wanted more control over the conversation and the type of responses that we can expect from the model? This is where prompt templates come in. In our project, let's create a new file and let's call it prompt templates.js. Let's set things up. Let's import the chat OpenAI class from Langchain slash OpenAI. And let's also import our environment variables by typing import all as .env from .env. And then let's enter .env.config like so. And let's also create our model by typing const model is equal to new chat open AI and specify the model name as GPT 3.5 turbo and for the temperature let's set it to 0 0.7. Now let's say we want to create an AI application that will take in any word from the user and then return a joke based on that word. So this means we do not want the user to have a general conversation with the model, but instead the model will only generate jokes based on the user's input. We can use prompt templates to enforce this behavior. So in order to create a prompt template, we need to import something from Langchain. So at the top of the code, type import chat prompt template from at Langchain slash core slash prompts. We can then create our prompt template by typing const prompt is equal to chat prompt template. And now on this class, we can call two different methods to create our template. The first one I want to show you is dot from template. And this is probably the easiest one to set up. It only takes a single string as its input. And in the string, we can effectively type a system message for this model, and that will instruct the model to behave in a certain way. For example, let's enter something like you are a comedian, tell a joke based on the following word. And we will now create a placeholder text and this will represent the value that the user will input. So in curly braces, let's just call this input, like so. And I'm just going to resize this window so everything fits. This is optional, but I do want to show you what the output from this method will be by calling it directly. So I'm going to console log await prompt dot format and within format, we can pass in an object. And if I have a look at the input help, we can see this input property, which is derived from here, and we can assign a value to this property like chicken. Let's test this by running the script by calling node prompt templates and pressing enter. And now we can see the result as you are a comedian, tell me a joke based on the following word chicken. And that is effectively what these prompt templates will do. It will format the prompt in a specific way and then pass that prompt to the LLM, enforcing a specific behavior. So let's remove this concept log and now all we need to do is to combine this model and the prompt somehow and this is called creating a chain in Langchain. So let's type a comment like create chain and the way we create a chain is simply by creating a variable I'll just call it chain which is equal to prompt.pipe and what we want to chain to this prompt is our model, like so. And by using this pipe method, we can combine different objects together to create a chain. Now, instead of calling the model directly, we can invoke the chain. For instance, let's do chain dot invoke and now we need to pass an object with the input value again this is the value that we specified over here and if we change this for example let's say we call this word you will notice on the invoke method that the autocomplete tells us that it's a word that it needs. I'm just going to change this back to input as this is a very common naming convention. And I'm going to call this input again. And let's pass in a word like dog. This invoke method is async. So we need to await the response. And let's assign this to a variable called response. Then lastly, let's console log response. And in the terminal, 
Let's run this. And in the terminal, we are getting our AI message back with a content property containing our joke. Why did the dog sit in the shade? Because he didn't want to be a hot dog. Great. There is one more method of this chat template prompt class that you need to be aware of, which can give you even greater control over the prompt. And that is called from messages. But before we continue, please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel. Your support means a lot to me. This from messages method takes in an array of key value pairs. So this allows us to pass in several messages to prime this model. The first key value pair that I'd like to pass in is the system message with a value of generate a joke based on a word provided by the user. Then the second key value pair that I'd like to pass is the human message. And this will simply be the input placeholder. And instead of a colon, this needs to be a comma, like so. And if we run this in the terminal, this code will still work. This is just an alternative to creating the prompt in a way more dynamic and cleaner way, in my opinion. One thing I do want to point out in the content is if we look at the value in the content field, we can see that this is a string containing new line characters and some other funny characters. And in fact, these are multiple strings concatenated with the plus sign. So we've got this section over here, plus this new line, plus another piece of string over here, which really isn't ideal. Thankfully, Langchain provides a very clean solution for formatting these responses in a very specific way. Whether we want these responses to be strings, arrays, or anything that we want. And we can control this output using output parsers. 